Fans were wrongly blamed, we were told in this report today, while police were heavy-handed and there was bad intelligence that was based on outdated images of English football fans that hark back to the 1980s. Those among many criticisms that were made in this report from a committee of French politicians, it said that there was a litany of failings. Yes, it said there were some people who were at the Stade de France that night intent on causing problems, but they weren't from Liverpool, according to this report. It said that they were local delinquents there in large numbers who were intent on pickpocketing and mugging the travelling football fans. Of course, for fans here, none of this is really too much of a surprise. They've been saying it since day one, but they do now want an apology from the government itself and they want changes to be made so as fans who travel to see sport and events in France in the future can feel safe. They came to see their side in the Champions League final. But before the match had even started, they were being pepper sprayed by French police and then wrongly blamed for this dangerous chaos. An attempt, according to a report published today, to divert attention from the failings in planning and policing. So it is a vindication. So it's what we knew all along. Joe Blot was at the Stade de France that night and gave evidence about what happened to the investigation. You got ten-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old kids who thought that the place was actually under attack, um, and you know, not notwithstanding that, for Liverpool fans to have been into a crush in the way that they were, given the experiences that they'd had, let's be honest. No Liverpool fan was responsible for Hillsborough and no Liverpool fan was responsible for the issues at the Stade de France. Not just not to blame, we were told today, but treated with hostility by officials who had outdated prejudices of 80s English football hooliganism. L'analyse que nous avons de ce dysfonctionnement, c'est un enchaînement de dysfonctionnements qui se sont produits dans un cadre administratif et décisionnaire assez flou dans lequel, finalement, personne ne s'est vraiment senti responsable. Late fans blamed for the late kick-off inside the ground, while outside, many had been here for hours trying to get in. After the match, the French interior minister wrongly accused Liverpool fans of industrial-scale fraud, saying thousands turned up with fake tickets. Very similar things were said to try and shift the blame after Hillsborough. As a scouser, I'm sick of my city being stereotyped it has been for decades. An apology is needed to us, but also some reassurances that people can go abroad in the future to go and see their team and their club and be treated with respect and dignity and be safe. After the failings on the day and the things said afterwards, it won't just be fans here wanting reassurances about how they'll be treated in the future.